Orlando, Florida, theme park capital of the world. What began with cattle ranches and orange groves now boasts the world's greatest collection of thrill rides, plus fine dining, resorts, and natural attractions. Orlando has dramatically transformed itself into an international vacation destination. While it welcomes nearly 50 million visitors annually, it is more than just a tourist town. With over 100 lakes, Orlando is as much a place of natural beauty as it is a place for grand entertainment. This happy town has quickly become a hot real estate market, where people are looking to relocate for warmer weather and lower cost of living. With more than 1,000 new residents a week, the city dynamic is changing. It's no longer just for snowbirds or retirees. Younger, diverse home buyers are moving in and bringing new culture in the form of food, art, and business to an already burgeoning area. As this city evolves beyond its tourism economy, the housing market is evolving with it. New planned communities are popping up next door to established neighborhoods, creating interesting options for first-time home buyers. Is it better to be new and ultra-modern or traditional and classic? And that's where I come in. I'm here to help sort through the options and discover why Orlando might be just the place to make a move. Finding your first home is one of the most exciting, this is insane, and personal decisions you'll make in your life. My favorite part, and I love what I see. With so many things to consider, it's easy to lose sight of what's really right for you. As I kept looking, I'm like, there's nowhere to go. My name is Andrew Tyree. I'm a realtor and a neighborhood explorer. I believe that home means something different to everyone. It's the personal touches, the backyard for hosting your neighbors, the local coffee shop around the corner, or the community park that make a home your home. That's what I want for Kingston, to be in a neighborhood where there are people that look like him, that reflect who we are. I'll be taking some first-time home buyers on a journey to find a place that feels like home to them. Wow. Wow. As they discover what they should really consider before signing on the dotted line. What really draws us here is that there are so many cultures in one small area. Yeah. You become like my best friend. Cheers. We'll go beyond the typical house hunt. <laughs> this is Beyond the Block. We are in Orlando, Florida. A couple that I'm gonna be helping out. They are both from Puerto Rico, both relocated to Orlando and looking to buy their first home, looking to put down some roots. I'm Laura Bermudez and I'm 28 years old. I'm Gabriel Bermudez and I'm 29 years old. We've known each other for eight years now, and we've been married for two. We always say that el amor entró por la cocina, which is like love came through the kitchen. <laughs> I used to cook for him like since day one. That's that, how she got me. Yeah. You remember what dish it was? Uh, now, now you're just putting me on the spot right here. It's chicken and pumpkin. Yeah, chicken and pumpkin, <laughs> yeah. Chicken and pumpkin. Some of their family is still living in Puerto Rico. Some of their family is living here in Florida. Hola, mami. Hola, mi amor. ¿Cómo estás? Bien, ¿y tú? ¿Cómo estamos? Family does come visit here. And since we have a one-bedroom apartment, we sleep in air mattresses. We make it happen. They sleep on the couch. No quiero y lo veo pronto. Te extraño. That's why we, we want a comfortable home that whenever they want to go, visit us since we're far away. They can stay. We always want to welcome them. So they have about $450,000 to spend with a little bit of wiggle room, which is always nice when you're dealing with a market like the one we are dealing with now. They want a diverse community that's full of culture. We both want have that family vibe that you do get in Puerto Rico, that all the neighbors gather together in one house. Yep. Hey, let's, let's drink, let's eat, let's tell stories. And uh, we do want kids. And I, I would like, a, <laughs> I would like a, a house that has nice schools around the area. Mm -hmm. So Laura moved directly to Lake Nona from Puerto Rico about three years ago and she's never lived anywhere else. It felt homey, really familiar. You see everyone like walking their dogs around, riding bikes. It's a new community, so you don't know necessarily like how it's going to evolve. You're still gonna be developing for the next three, five, maybe even seven years. So I would like for them to explore a couple other options before they decide where they wanna buy their home and start their family. Laura, Gabrielle, nice to finally meet you in hey, person. Thank you. Thanks for inviting me out. 
I haven't been to Florida in at least 10 years. Wow. Forgot how beautiful it was down here. You guys obviously love Orlando because now you're looking to buy a home. Yes. Yeah, it's a new stepping stone for us. Okay. So we're looking for options right now. Okay. Right? So tell me about uh, bedrooms, bathroom. I think minimum of a three, two. Okay. Yes. okay. Um, it has to have, uh, it's an open concept and, okay. a, and a nice kitchen. My a wife nice loves kitchen. to cook. I love to cook. It's how I, he fell in love. Listen, I can relate. My wife is Dominican and oh, she cooks you see? all the time. You put sazón to the yeah, comida. You come on now. <laughs> yeah, and then you're hooked. Yes. Um, okay, so kitchen's important. Yes. Our main concept is new construction, new mm -hmm. developments. Mm -hmm. That's yep. something that we're very interested in. And what makes that a very important thing for you? Everyone's like in our same vibe, looking for something new. Yeah. Everyone's like just moving in. So we feel yeah. like the people that are looking for new neighborhoods are people like our age. Yeah. Like, like known as like uh, 35 years old, mm -hmm. the, the average, average age. age. And it's like people that are going the same step as we are, mm -hmm. you know, millennials, you know. Yeah. Are there any other neighborhoods that you guys are interested in besides? We would like, like to know a little bit more at Avalon Park okay. and then um, Baldwin Park. Baldwin also? Park. Well, I have some really great tools from Realtor.com. Okay. They're going to help you kind of figure out exactly where you want to be. Sure. Okay. You guys are looking for new construction. Yes. There's a filter on Realtor.com that will filter out all the homes and just leave the new construction homes. So we're going to start with Avalon Park. There you go. And right here under the Filters tab, you're going to scroll down. Instead of any, we're going to click New Construction. It'll filter out all the properties that are not new construction. And this one, unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any in Avalon Park. So let's move on to the next one. Let's check out Baldwin Park. Okay, so we have a few options here, not too many. And then let's look at your last area, which was Lake Nona, right? Yes. Well, that's much better. Ooh, yeah, nice. you have a lot of options here in Lake yep. Nona. I think we can get rid of Avalon. I think we can also get rid of Baldwin Park. There is an area, it's right outside of Baldwin Park. It's called Autobahn Park. It's an older planned community, but I think it's important to see because these communities will age. They're new right now when yeah. you buy it. But in 10 years, they'll be 10 years old. So you should see the way it ages, how that looks, so you can be thinking about that also when you're buying your home. Okay, that sounds cool. So we'll check out some cool options this week. We'll also really get into the community, because I know that's super important. And uh, by the end of the week, hopefully you'll be well on your way to, you know, finding a house that's right for you. Awesome. Sure, hey. Thank you. Cheers. Appreciate it. Hey, cheers. 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 Yes. Which theme park still in operation was the first to open in Orlando? Disney World, SeaWorld, Gatorland, or Universal Studios. With Realtor.com's Draw on Map feature, I can finally escape Transylvania. A friend told me of a cool place called Pennsylvania. I love my new home. Realtor.com, to each their home. With Realtor.com, you can tour homes you like from anywhere. With 3D tours so realistic, it's almost like you're really there. So you can home search with confidence. Home gym, eh? <laughs> Um, Realtor.com just seems real. You aren't actually... Get to the top of the mountain, Dad! I believe in me! Hey, pass me that water bottle, would ya? Okay. I feel a Go to Realtor.com or download the app today and tour homes you like from anywhere. Thanks to Realtor.com's 3D tours, we can virtually explore new homes to make sure there's plenty of room to entertain. What an upgrade. I'm obsessed with your staircase. Realtor.com, to each their home. Which theme park still in operation was the first to open in Orlando? The answer is Gatorland in 1949. Gabriel and Laura are looking to settle into a newer construction home in an up and coming planned community. They want to start fresh in a family-friendly area where they can meet neighbors that are in a similar place in their lives. So this is called the Autobahn Park Garden District. Okay. So it was originally built in the 50s and the 60s. Now new businesses are starting to pop up. In 2016, it won a really cool award. It was like America's Greatest Main Street Award. So it's very walkable. And they kept a lot of the architecture, so it feels yeah, I can feel it. very established. And but it vintage. also has like new energy and new vibes here. Yeah. Could you see yourself here? Uh, I think I think we both agree it's a little bit outdated. Okay, so new communities obviously are new, sparkling, brand new, very nice. Yes. But eventually, they're not anymore. Right? Ten years, twenty That's years down true. the line. That's true. So when you see this place, you know this might be the future of your new community. Just want you to have that in mind. Okay. No, we'll, we'll keep an open mind. Definitely. Definitely. 
The Autobahn Park Garden District was developed in the 50s and 60s when it catered to many military residents who worked at nearby bases. As new residents moved in and some of the military bases moved away, the neighborhood adapted to the times. Now it offers boutique retail shops, breweries, art studios, and many community activities for its residents. While it still maintains the retro storefronts and quaint Main Street, it continues to update its image and character to serve the needs of its residents. How does this neighborhood feel to you? I like the, the scenery. I like the trees. Yeah, and all. I can hear the birds. Mm -hmm. This is not new construction, okay. but it is redone on the inside. Right. Before you go in, let's take a quick look at Realtor.com and check out the listing. Well underneath your budget, under 500,000, three bedrooms, yeah. two baths. Let's check it out. Mm. Come on in, guys. Check out your living area. Ooh, ooh look at right? that kitchen. This is very unexpected. You have a dedicated dining area. Nice big table, right? Where you guys yep. can have you, your family members, everybody. And that kitchen, oh, I love it. This is your room, right? Well, yes, I see myself. Can you see here. it? Yeah, definitely. I think the only thing I would maybe put some input in mm -hmm. is the floor. Yeah, I'm it not reminds about... me my grandma's floor. But then, of course, you could add your own touch on it by redoing the floors. Yeah, no, right? for sure. Definitely. Let's check out the bedroom back this way. Okay. This is a great guest room. Yes. The sloped ceiling even gives it a feel of being a little bigger than it actually is. Yeah. Yep, I didn't even notice. Mm hmm It's the little things. So you have a second bedroom right here, and then you have your primary bedroom. Ooh. I like the natural lighting for yeah. sure, and I like that I got a, a nice view to the backyard here. Uh -huh. Head right on in here. This is your bathroom. Yeah. yeah I like that it's modern, for okay. sure. I like the update they did on it. I think it's too uh, tiny for uh, two persons. Uh, yeah. Fair enough, but I have the best yet to show you. Come on out here, guys, and check out your backyard area. I like this. Indoor, yes. outdoor space. I like it because you can have my mother, mother-in-law, mm -hmm. father-in-law. You're in the backyard, but you're not getting straight heat. Exactly. It's like an oasis. How are you feeling overall? So I definitely like the open concept that you have the kitchen, the dining room, and then the family room. Mm -hmm. But the rooms are a little bit tiny. Yeah. They're cramped. All right, so we know what we like, we know what we don't like. I always say that the house is not just the four walls, right? Yes. It's the neighborhood, it's the people around you. Definitely. The restaurant. The restaurant. So on that note, I have somebody I want you to meet. Okay. A very cool place I want okay. to take you. I'm excited. We're have a good time. Hey, okay. I'm going to East End Market is a neighborhood market showcasing some of Central Florida's top merchants, retailers, and restaurants, along with Domu, a world-class ramen eatery. I want to introduce Gabriel and Lara to Sunny, chef, owner, and happy resident of Audubon Park Garden District. Really, really, really great chef. Nice. He makes just amazing, amazing, famous ramen. Yeah. And if we were lucky, he might teach us how to make it. Ooh, what? Baby, you love I ramen. love ramen. This is for our most popular ramen, which is the Richie Rich Ramen. And uh, it's a pork-based broth topped with pork belly and all these ingredients that you see here. Ah, well, you said nice. you said pork belly, so I'm excited yes. already. Uh, Laura here loves to cook. Yes, so I love it. maybe you can show us how to put together the Richie Rich. Uh, of course, yeah, Laura, if you want to come on my side, and I'll, I'll show Ooh, you how to put yes. together this ramen. Right. Oh, no, Laura, I'm going to have you stand right ramen. here. Yeah. So we're going to drop our, our house-made noodles for about 45 seconds. OK. Pork broth here. OK. So here we have uh, fried garlic. Nice, and these are eggs? Yeah, these are our soft-boiled eggs that we marinate in soy sauce, marin, oh, and sake. That's why oh, that's color. why the color yeah, is different. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, that's that's right. so that <laughs> thinking like green eggs and ham. Love yeah. it. That's so a, those that's noodles are like rice noodles? These are wheat noodles. Oh, wow. So, yep. okay. so you make the own, your noodles in-house? Yes, sir. Oh, yep. that's amazing. Nice. Okay. So we're going to yes. have each of these ingredients placed on top of the bowl, however you feel looks great. Okay, and then I'll finish it off with the egg and, uh, and pork belly Awesome. As well. Let's make it pretty. There you go. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Ooh. Yeah, great job. I'm a big fan of ramen. He I've is. gone to Japan. And oh. I, I, so yeah. I was like, okay. oh my god, we're going to eat ramen? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so a little birdie told me that you one day would be interested in opening up a restaurant. Oh, is that, yeah. Is that oh, true? Yeah. Yes. Oh, How do you know? I mean, listen, I know. <laughs> I, I know. Yeah. So that's like literally my, my one goal in life. I want to open my own restaurant. OK, yeah. Yes. I still don't know what I'm going to like focus in, uh -huh. but I do some like little sandwiches. Like they're like montaditos. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I, I love it. And whenever I do them, everyone's like all over them. Mm -hmm. Oh, OK, awesome.
We are following traditional Japanese procedures sure. of how to make these things, mm -hmm. but I want to make sure that you feel different when you come in here, yeah. you know, okay. give big city vibes that yeah. this could be in New York or this could be in LA, but you if know, you we're here in Orlando. If you want to open a restaurant in LA, oh yeah, call me. Hey man, we'll get your number. We, can, <laughs> we will do some things. Let's so. do it, Andrew. Yes. That's so. great. Why this neighborhood? You know, honestly, yeah. when you come and visit Orlando, you don't really think about what it offers more than the theme parks. But, you know, beyond that, there's all these little tucked away neighborhoods. And Audemars Park has a, has a great history of great entrepreneurs that care about maintaining the architecture, maintaining, you know, the history of, of, of our neighborhood. But living in the city is great because you can do yes. anything you want being so central. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what we're looking for, being next to restaurants, family-oriented neighborhood. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Talk to me about the way the neighborhood has changed. I would say that more so the past year or two, it has more and more businesses have came in into this neighborhood to open up restaurants, open up a bakery, mm -hmm. uh, uh, a brewery. I would Audubon. say this is the Audubon and those 50 are going to be the, the top places for uh, in terms of culture in Orlando. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Just, yeah. I love it. It's good guys. Yeah. Wasn't on your list, but maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe it should be on and the that's list. That's where we like to go out mm -hmm. and meet new people because they, they tell us more. Actually, this is the first ramen spot that I've seen here. Mm -hmm. Like, really? Yeah. Most of our customers are regulars that live in the neighborhood or surrounding neighborhoods. Okay. Um, and, you know, honestly, that's what built the foundation of what, what I'm able to do now is, nice. is from the locals. Yeah. But, yeah. You know, I'm just happy to be here uh, alongside of them. So. With Realtor.com's flood zone feature, we found the perfect home in an extremely dry climate. Because too much water will kill us. But we're safe here. And we're heading inside. Realtor.com to each their home. Realtor.com has powerful search filters that let you go as deep, wide, or narrow as you want when looking for a home. We're looking for something pretty specific. Two specific question marks? Realtor.com has a super extensive list. Let's go. We need a three bed, two and a half bath. With a home office. Waterfront. Open concept kitchen. And an amazing school district. Walking distance to our favorite coffee shop. Ooh, the one with the scones. Bam. I already got a couple of listings and I'll set an alert for when, ooh, another one just went on the market. Wow, we can search by commute times, lot size, new construction. Win your home search. Go to realtor.com or download the app today. Thanks to realtor.com's home size filter, we can ditch this troll hole for a bigger place. Our new home is perfect. For having neighbors over for dinner. Love your open floor plan. Realtor.com to each their home. Today we're touring Lake Nona by Beep, a driverless shuttle servicing the Lake Nona community. Laura and Gabriel already have their eyes set on Lake Nona, but to find the right home, you need to ask the right questions. Being in Lake Nona, real estate's evolving, technology's evolving. Yes. They've obviously been coming together, and this community is a perfect example of like, how I think communities are probably gonna end up being built. I don't know if I would drive anymore. Like if, if I had this, it's actually very beepable. Beepable. I, like that. <laughs> I mean, what's really cool about this community, guys, is all the stuff that you get in here is included in your HOA. And the HOA is not even that much. It's under $200. What? You get crazy. You get cable, you get internet. What? I like the community a lot. I'm convinced, I'm convinced. You, I'm sold. <laughs> Lake Nona is a 17-square-mile mixed-use planned community in Orlando. Named for the large lake in the northern part of the neighborhood, Lake Nona has seen rapid growth in the last decade, but that growth has been carefully planned. The model homes steadily popping up in the area are surrounded by parks, restaurants, a medical center, a golf club, and recreation centers. It's being constructed as a modern city, where everything you need is just a stone's throw away. Though it boasts many futuristic bells and whistles, Lake Nona is not that far off from the planned communities of the past. So walking up, the curb appeal is already winning me over. Yeah. Uh, the colors are beautiful right here. Love that accent, red door. Before we go inside, let's take a look at Realtor.com okay. and check out the listing. So a little above your budget, 519, but you get a ton of space in there. Four bedrooms, three and a half baths, and this is the newer construction. It was actually built in 2017, so nice, nice and That's new for best. you guys. Yes. A lot of space, you're gonna like love the I'm kitchen, hearing. backyard. So come on in, take it all in, guys. How you feel wow. when you first walk into a home is very important. This is Super beautiful. Nice. So right this way is your living room. So will you be spending your, you know, some of your family time? Yeah, relaxing. I, I love the open concept. These ceilings makes it feel more spacious. Yeah. I so, love it. So now, 
I want you to walk into your favorite room in the house. Yes, okay. my favorite right. part, and I love what I see. I see myself like cooking here every day without any problem. No problems. Look at the size of this island. Yes. Like, uh, and white kitchen. And you white. nailed it twice. I, I nailed it twice. Bedrooms right yes, upstairs. Yes. So nice guest bedroom. Yeah, yeah that's nice. nice. Three windows, wow. Yep, and then you have this nice bedroom right back here. It actually has its own bathroom. Nice. So the in-laws will like it. So come straight through here and you will find your primary bedroom. Beautiful. Or we call it the homeowner's room. suite here. Yeah, so this is a king size bed. Look at all this space. Nice. There is a lot of space here for sure. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. It's <laughs> all baby. Oh. And that's a nice soaking tub too. It's not like a little flimsy thing. Yep. Even for you, 63. Can we try it out? Yep. Okay. Well, let me let me check if we if we fit together. <laughs> I think we don't. And then <laughs> <laughs> Take a quick step outside, guys, and I want you to see your backyard area. I like this. You see, I, I would extend it maybe twice this. Like, so this this hard surface here. Yeah, I would just like twice this much. That's a good area for a pool there. But that's interesting because a lot of people really favor the grassy area, but you guys are more interested in the, either pool or like hard surface. Oh, this yeah. was, with this weather. Yeah, Florida <laughs> Florida heat is, is a beast. Well, but you like it. You like yes, that space. Yes, definitely. Yes. Okay, good. Good to know. So I know that you guys are loving the space. It looks good all around, inside, outside. We, we fall in love with this neighborhood for yeah. sure. Like that is, yeah. we do have an emotional attachment to it. Yes. I ain't gonna lie. Yes. Yeah. Fair enough. And I know you guys are interested in being active, meeting new friends. Yes, So that's I have true. a surprise for you. Ooh. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, Ooh. but we're gonna have to change clothes. Okay, oh. let's, let's go. I want Laura and Gabriel to explore as many opportunities and communities as they can so that they'll know everything that Orlando has to offer them. And I want them to have fun doing it. I can't think of a better way for this young couple to get to know their neighbors than by getting involved in a community activity. So you guys spend a lot of time in Lake Nona. Yes, we like, do. Like, all your time. Yeah. <laughs> which, is, which is great, it's a beautiful area. But I just want, before I leave, you guys to explore some areas outside of Lake Nona. Okay, that's cool. So we're here in North Shore Park. It's not that far, 15 minutes outside of Lake Nona. And I want to take you and introduce you to Teresa. She runs a fun kickball league. So if you guys are up for a quick game. Let's do it. You guys are ready? Yeah, let's do it. Hey, this sounds like fun. Woo! This is Laura. Hi. So I Thank told them about this wonderful league that you have. So when did you start it? We started uh, maybe three, four weeks ago. And what made you want to start a league, an adult kickball league? I love this area, and I've been able to meet new friends, and I just had the courage to go on Facebook one yeah. day and be like, can I get like 10 people to play a game? And yeah. the response was so overwhelming. It looks really that, fun. It looks like a lot of people yeah. out here. Yeah. So yeah. these guys are actually thinking about buying a house here in the area, oh, in the Lake Nona yeah. area. We really like this area, and honestly, I will never leave. Okay. I love this place. This is Moss Park area. We're close to the airport. We're close to downtown. We're close to the theme parks. Mm -hmm. close so, to here. but Lake Nona's like real low key and calm and great for families. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's cool. great. That's How about the people? How's the culture here? That's what I love. You have the different restaurants. You have different foods. You have different friends. Yeah. The community is diverse. Like it's yeah, it's, it's awesome. Really, and that's to me is important for my kids and my family. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 A little bit of everything. You know, we're athletic. We both. She played soccer. I used soccer. to play soccer. I nice. played basketball. So we're looking for like a family oriented sports league. This is actually for anybody that's an adult, eighteen and older. Yeah. There's no pre qualifications. There's you no criteria. You show up. You show up awesome. every Friday six. Okay. And you know, if you've played before and you're good, you're I, I, on my team. Okay, listen, I, you know, I don't want to brag or boast, but maybe I might be able to do something. I don't know. We'll see. Ready? Ready. Go, you got this! Did you have fun? I had a great time. Yeah. It was a blast. I'm out of breath. You guys look refreshed, energized. So I will see you guys tomorrow? Yeah, yes. yeah, let's do it. Awesome. With Realtor.com's affordability tool, I can find a new home with a mortgage that fits my budget.
I love my new home. This is the best day of my afterlife. Realtor.com, to each their home. We're buying a home for the first time. And it's so stressful and confusing just to figure out what we can actually afford. I just... Oh, wow. You two might want to check out Realtor.com. Are they better than our shout pillows? Well, Realtor.com has helpful tools and tips for first-time buyers to make home buying a little less... Overwhelming? Yeah. Realtor.com's monthly cost calculator factors in key costs for you, so you have a better handle on what you can afford. Less surprises, less stress. So no more shout pillow. Nah. Go to Realtor.com or download the app today and see what you can afford. With Realtor.com's home alerts, we found our new desert home really fast. And us cacti aren't exactly known for our speed. Mainly because we don't have legs. You work with what you have. Realtor.com, to each their home. Guys, our week, unfortunately, has come to an end. I've never been to Orlando, Florida, and seen it the way I've seen it this week. Yes. What was your favorite moments? What really stood out to you this week? We love that we were able to get out from Lake Nona, meet new restaurant owners, mm -hmm. like experience different other shopping centers. The kickball, that was great. Yeah. Thank you so much for taking yeah. us. That's what it's all about. It's about people, it's about food, it's about fun, yes. and it's about home. And what I wanted to do is show you that even if you do end up moving to Lake Nona, there are things outside of Lake Nona that are really Definitely. amazing. So before I go, I have one more tool from Realtor.com that I want to share with you. What else? Okay. I know you guys are in the heat of looking. Of course. This is going to help you save a little bit of time and energy. Okay. It's called Safe Search. We start with where you want to be, Lake Nona. You want to enter your search criteria. So we're going to put your budget in there. Okay. okay. Let's put 250 kind of at the bottom of your range. We're going to put 450 at the top with a little bit of wiggle room. Okay. okay. We know your property type is going to be single family home. Yeah. And we want a three bedroom, three, two, two bath. Two bathroom. So now yeah. that we have all those things that you like in there, and you can get as detailed as you want here in the filter section, you're just gonna hit save search. Okay. okay. And so it awesome. saves all your criteria so that you don't miss anything. If the houses change price or if they go oh, off the market, somebody buys them, that's awesome. it'll send you a notification. Oh, You'll be up to date because nice. the market is so crazy right now, you don't yeah. wanna miss anything. So, you know, yep. this is a big investment, it's our first home, so we're gonna owe a lot of it to you. And oh, we're wow. so grateful. Like, thank you so much. I love the fact that you guys knew what you wanted. You guys had done a bit of the research. I came in, rounded it out. But you guys really loved what you loved. And now I love what you love. What I also see, and it's kind of inspiring me a little bit, is like I, I see how you enjoy your work and then how you... <laughs> I do love it. <laughs> I know. And then like yeah. home is the biggest investment someone's going to do. By and far. you do it like so passionate that I might get into that route. Listen, if you want to, I think you'd be great at it. And if you need any advice, feel free definitely. to ask me. I will definitely contact you. I think the best part of my job is meeting new people making new friends and I always think like hey like maybe this will just be work this time but it's always personal and this time was no different I really loved meeting you guys hey thank you so thanks much thanks for being so hey. warm and so hey. welcoming we enjoy this time so much hey. <laughs> I'm leaving Orlando with a new perspective on planned communities and how they function while a row of model homes may seem cold and off-putting to some Gabby and Laura reminded me that it's all about the people who fill those homes the memories you create there with friends and family are what it's all about. So while I may not have swayed them from their plan of buying in Lake Nona, I think I was successful in showing them what other neighborhoods have to offer. Hopefully I inspired them to put themselves out there, meet their neighbors, and build the community they want wherever they wind up. Hey Andrew, how's it going? Oh hey my God, Andrew. guys, how are you? We got some good news for we you. We have exciting news. We got the house. We actually did buy in Lake Nona and Lower Park. Where you show us and recommend us, we love the neighborhood and that's where we are. It's kind of perfect, right? Let me show you the family. They're here celebrating yeah. with us. Okay, oh wow, it's a lot of them. My parents and mother-in-law, brothers, cousin, aunt, they're all here. But let me take you around the, the Sarahs. I want a tour, I want a tour, I'm excited. I want to show you something, I'm super excited. Oh, that kitchen, kitchen, huh? Your kitchen. With the big island. How many bedrooms did you get? We got a 3-2. Let me take you upstairs okay. so, so you can okay, get a good go. look at that. So we have the loft area here. Check it out. Oh, yeah. Like, that's the area where Gabby works. Yeah, <laughs> he's excited. So, but check this out. They're, like, so super high ceilings. They're, like, 10 feet. You checked everything. You got new construction. You got the size you wanted. And that's not all. I also joined the real estate industry. You're a real estate agent now? Yes, on commercial and residential. Welcome to the family. Happy to have Thank you. Thank you. 
I'm glad you guys had a good time. I'm glad you guys were able to find a house. I'm really, really happy for you. Let me say bye to the family again one time. Hey, thank you so much for everything. Hey, hey family, hey, say goodbye. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.